Unfortunately, the kingdom of Greece that Alexander, his father, and his generals had made and worked so hard to maintain wouldn't last forever. A new power was beginning to rise, and Greece began to fall. In the years following Alexander's death, his kingdom was divided. Greece slowly began to fall into the hands of the Roman Empire. The pivotal moment was fought at the battle between the Greeks and Romans. This would be the deciding point for the dividing kingdom of Greece. In return, this final battle signified the final collapse of the Greek Empire, leaving Rome at the forefront of the world. You might be interested to know that everything that we have talked about today about Greece was predicted way before it actually even happened. A man named Daniel was the one who predicted it a long time ago when Babylon was the ruling empire. Let's listen in as Kate explains in detail of what actually happened. In Daniel chapter 2, Nebuchadnezzar had a dream about a strange man made of mud and metal. This great image consisted of a head of gold, a breast of silver, belly and thighs of bronze, legs of iron, and feet partly of iron and partly of clay. Daniel then interpreted this image for the king and described what each part of the body symbolized. These different parts represented different kingdoms in the years to come. We see in Daniel 2.39 that the bronze is the third kingdom which was to rule all the world. The dominating kingdom was the Greek Empire that was symbolized by the belly and thighs of bronze. In Daniel chapter 7, Daniel had a dream of four great beasts. The third beast was like a leopard and had four wings which had four heads. The leopard with wings represented a very fast and swift creature. This foretold how Alexander the Great would conquer the known world with fierce speed. The four heads represented the four generals, which would later take over and divide the empire after Alexander died. Again, we see in Daniel chapter 8 that he had another vision of a goat that flew from the west over the whole face of the earth. This goat had a notable horn between his eyes. Daniel 8 verse 8 says that this goat grew to become very strong and great, but it was during this time that his horn was broken. In Daniel 8.21 it says that this goat is the nation of Greece, and the great horn that was between his eyes is the first king which was Alexander the Great. The goat and its power represented Alexander becoming great, and then the broken horn represented Alexander at the height of his reign when he suddenly died. After this, four notable ones came up toward the four winds of heaven. This represents Alexander's four generals. History has documented that Daniel, Daniel's dreams and prophecies have come true. This is one of the best evidences that what the Bible says is reliable and can be believed. We see throughout history God's continual guiding hand. It's so amazing to see the prophecies of Daniel being fulfilled. Hopefully you have enjoyed this journey through the Hellenistic age and your knowledge of Greece has been increased. It has been a pleasure being your host. We'll see you next time. so good. Don, we have to show John this. This is perfect for our project. We have it. We'll do fine now. Okay. I missed half of it, though. Oh, oh well, it's really good.
presentation tomorrow if we don't have anything to present. This we're going to fail. You guys are supposed to be finished. We're working on it, but we just can't get it together, okay? It's just not working. Do you have any ideas? Well, lucky for us, we found this wonderful DVD. <laughs> I think we can show it for the presentation. What is it about? It's about Hellenistic Greece, duh. All right, let's show it. Tomorrow, 10 o'clock, we're showing the DVD. Sweet. Good job, guys. made possible by JDEC Productions. Very creative, slightly insane.